uh, in this lecture, in the continuation of this lecture, uh, I will talk about the dual formulation for support vector machines. Uh, as we know that the Lagrangian formulation can work for a small set of training samples. However, uh, the size of the matrix A can get large uh, as the number of training samples increase and the matrix inverse operation can become problematic. Thus, it's better to use the dual formulation for finding the support vectors. With the dual formulation, instead of minimizing over... Um, sorry. With the dual formulation, instead of minimizing over W and B, subject to the constraints that involves Lagrangian parameters lambda, one can maximize over lambda, uh, the dual variable, with the constraints obtained for lambda and B. Uh, as we know, uh, the constraints for lambda and B uh, can be obtained by the uh, Lagrangian formulation if so W is uh, from I equals 1 to M lambda I Y I and X I and we also know that from I equals 1 to M lambda I Y I is uh, equal to 0. Uh, let's uh, let us remember the Lagrangian formulation, which is our primal problem. So L, W, B and lambda is equal to 1 over 2, W double trans, double transpose W, uh, from I equals 1 to M, lambda I, Y I, W transpose X I plus B minus 1. While uh, it's, this is true for lambda I uh, greater than 0. Uh, when we expand the second term, this one, we have these terms. You can do it yourself. And when we insert the ex uh, expressions from the equation 4 into this equation, uh, so we insert W, uh, we replace W with this expression. So this expression becomes 1 over 2 lambda i y i lambda j y j x i transpose x j and this expression becomes minus uh, lambda i y i lambda j y j x i transpose x j and this expression becomes 0 times b since b is a constant in this summation, we can take it out. And since this, uh, the value of the summation is equal to 0 from here, the uh, b parameter is eliminated in this uh, representation. And we have a summation of lambda i. Uh, so we are going to maximize uh, the, this equation since we have only have uh, two terms, this is 1 over 2 of this expression. So this is eliminated. And the final expression uh, for, for us to maximize the uh, lambda parameters with respect to lambda parameters is that from i equals 1 to m lambda i minus 1 over 2 i equals 1 to m lambda i y i lambda j y j x i and x j. Um, this is subject to this, and we all know that lambda i is greater than zero. Note that the dual formulation can be solved using quadratic optimization, such as gradient ascent. Not gradient descent, but gradient ascent, because this is uh, for this uh, equation we would like to maximize the function. So we are using gradient ascent by taking the derivative of LD with respect to every lambda i. Lambda I. In this formulation, we only need to compute the dot product of the feature vectors xi and xj, rather than computing the inverse of a huge matrix. So, after we find the optimal set of Lagrangians, we can then insert them in, in the uh, equation W equals uh, from i equals 1 to m, lambda i, y n xi and compute the weight vector w. So when we are given the feature vector of an unknown sample u, 
The class level it, of it can be determined by looking at the sign of the expression uh, uh, W transpose U plus B. If the sign of this part, this expression is positive, we know that the uh, class uh, belongs to uh, plus 1, y equals plus 1 from here, uh, from where, sorry, so if that expression is positive, we know that it belongs to the second class, if that expression is negative, we know that it belongs to the first class. So this uh, completes the lecture about the um, linear classifiers and support vector machines. I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you for listening and watching.